después? Um, tuve una cesárea cuando tuve okay. una niña. Y vienes con nosotros porque no es legal en Estados Unidos. Sí. Exactamente. Ok, perfecto. These are the words that this Mexico City gynecologist repeats dozens of times a week. Today, Sandra has come from Houston, Texas to have an abortion. In her state, it's completely illegal. I just don't feel that like it's right because it's taking the choice away from the woman to be able to do what she wants to do with her body. After an hour of surgery, the young woman was finally released. To have him support that choice, it's a huge part. I'm not in it by myself. And I know some people don't have that. And they're in it alone. And to have to come through this alone is, is very difficult. In a move that goes against the grain of the US, Mexico's Supreme Court decriminalized abortion in September 2023. Since then, 15 states have legalized it. Across the country, feminist collectives have come together to support American women. In Monterrey, 200 kilometers from the U.S. border, Sandra Cardona and Vanessa Jimenez welcome these women into their houses or send them kits to carry out their abortion at home. Les mandamos a las chavas mi febristona y mi soprostol. It's impossible to mail medicines to the U.S. Using a cross-border solidarity network, the two women managed to get the kit to the patient's home. We've had American volunteers tell us, I want to help. I regularly cross the border between Mexico and the U.S. I can smuggle these medicines and send them to those who need them. With just days before the U.S. election, abortion is at the heart of the campaign and an issue of great social tension.